The fishnets are going back in the sock drawer for now. We have been forced to make the decision to not cancel but postpone uh, the professional production of Rocky Horror till October next year. With social distancing, we just can't meet the demand uh, uh, for ticket sales that, that it requires. We've got 700 seats only. We really need to, to, to fill demand. Everyone will be personally contacted and uh, they can do whatever they want. They can have a refund, they can keep their tickets, they can change their tickets, they can have more tickets. Rescheduling of the $1 million production is the latest hit to the state's theatre scene during COVID. A key problem stopping smaller productions going ahead are the current social distancing rules. Producers say it is possible to seat groups about two square metres apart. That's two chairs. Where they run into trouble is the rule that says people must be 1.5 metres away. That's about three chairs. Under those rules, they can really only fill about one tenth of the theatre. Now at the moment, um, because of social restrictions and, and social distancing, I mean, um, we can't really be open. Um, it, it's not a financial, uh, a viable financial option. They want the same exemptions to the 1.5 metre rule given to groups sitting in restaurants and on transport. And ben Winspear and Marta Dusseldorp's production of The Bleeding Tree in the Hedberg Theatre next door is also on ice during COVID. We're going to do some socially distanced rehearsals this Thursday and Friday and we're just slowly coming back. But I, I would love to start sharing stories live again. I think we need it. Small production companies like theirs needing more government help if they're to raise the curtain again. We really need much more stimulus and much more understanding of the impact that culture has on business, education, um, and see it as an essential part of being alive. Late today, the state government said that in venues, the 1.5 metre rule will apply to groups, not individuals. Alison Branley, ABC News.